Look at this uh, late afternoon sky. I'm just watching Roni uh, try his best to <laughs> shuffle her around. That took it like five minutes to make happen. He is not an effective horse trainer. <laughs> uh, I've got these five out at the moment and watching them kind of peacefully sort of go about. I mean, they're all down at the other end without any influence and hanging out sort of together. And just watching them go about um, just bits and pieces, you know, whether it's talking to each other, a little bit of co-grooming, moving around. Luke, what have you got there? Nom, nom, nom. I know, something's in the sand. Uh, you're all covered in sand, my friend. And, um, and just, you know, watching some good horsey behaviors. Had a lot of questions lately, a lot of new people. It's fantastic having everybody here. Thanks for coming and watching. Hopefully learning something, communicate something. It's interesting. <laughs> and uh, a lot of questions. And I had a really good question come through. And it was, I have kids and I want them to learn how to ride. Do you have any suggestions? And I do. I do have suggestions. Actually, I had another. Get them, kick them in the chest. <laughs> Good job, you really uh, swung that around. Yeah, you were fantastic. And um, I have some great advice, really, or at least I believe I do. Stop digging up my arena, especially when I'm hanging around with these two crackers. Anyhow, my. Um, I had an email as well from a lady that had some grandkids to bring by for a pony rider kind of thing. They want to experience horse riding. And I declined. And I said, there's lots. <laughs> Who wants to scratch this? Nobody wants to scratch this, Lena. Maybe just this white part over here, but not this part. <laughs> so um, the advice that I would give if you have children uh, that want to ride, they want to, they want to check out a horse or two is if, if it's, if it's just for a little pony ride kind of idea, there are definitely going to be places that will probably be dedicated to doing horse riding for little littles. And they'll probably have a little, little horse. And that little, little horse will probably be what they refer to as dead broke, bomb proof, likely old, you know, I don't know about old, old, but old enough that they could cart around a 50 pound kid or something. And if, if you're looking for the short term sort of, God, look at that sky. Short term, you know, I want to see if my kid likes horses at all. That's not a bad idea. It's not my recommended idea overall, but it's not a bad idea. Um, Definitely find a place that is more dedicated for that. Now, my most recommended approach... Hey man, you look kind of soaking wet. <laughs> my most recommended approach to having kids be around horses is to not have them ride. And the reason is that horse riding is dangerous. Just the tiniest amount of water is good enough, eh? These guys. Um, is to not ride. And the reason I suggest not riding, especially at first, is because it's important to know what it takes to be around horses, not just to ride. There's a lot of people who have a goal of riding. But what does it take to be around horses, especially be on top of a horse? You've seen how fast these guys move around. Stop digging. Good grief, all of you guys. And um, 
when you're on top, you've, you've, you've got limited tools to get things done, which is why people come up with all kinds of gimmicks. Ooh, what's going to happen here? These two chitty chat an awful lot. It's quite interesting. So, the, the, the plan should be, if you have kids, and you want them to get into horse, you know, I mean, anything under six is just, just brush something or pet something or maybe just sit on top of something without moving around much kind of thing. That might be kind of okay. A very safe, quiet environment. Anything older than that, well, kids can start to actually pay attention. They can actually start to, mm, you know, hold their attention on something long enough to not just check out. It doesn't last too long. Once you get over eight, nine, you get it for a little longer. And then sort of 11 and above, maybe up to 14 or so, you'll have a little more um, <laughs> ability to concentrate and stuff. But I've had, I had a little seven, eight year old here that was fantastic. She, she would, she would really tune in for a good 30, 40 minutes, which was incredible. Because most don't. So that's something to keep in mind. But, you know, if you want to know if your kid likes horses, uh, riding is not always the best route because, well, when you're with them, um, you want to not feel fear. That was a nice one. And, uh... Oh, I got back up just a smidge here. I did want to get run over. Um, you see how quick they are. See, I'm just, what, I, what I'm trying to explain and show while I explain and show is quick, what are they going to do? Can you predict things that are going to happen when horses hang around with other horses? Does a dog come around? Do things happen? Because you're not, what you want, <laughs> what you really want to teach is, um, not really how to handle just I mean riding is easy but it's all the other stuff so start on the ground start in in a safer position too it's safer to be on the ground but start on the ground talk about horse behaviors talk about how to care for them talk about brushing talk about feet you know talk about uh, behaviors uh, how they do with other horses walk them uh, a little bit of groundwork and then when that's kind of solid, and if your kid is still interested, well, then you've got something that you can invest money in. But a pony ride, <laughs> like, what if you hung around with Lena? Like, every horse out there wants to get scratches on their bum. You know, it's actually not far off of the truth, but, you know, not all of them, of course, right? Roni, look at how sensitive he is. He's a very sensitive sort. If I come up to him, he's going to check me out real fast. Right, it's like, what can I help you with, sir? Right, are they all like that? No. Look at that guy. Here's So they're all different. And that is another thing that I find very important for children, adults as well. But if you want to get your kids into horses, honestly, the best thing to do is to start from the ground upwards and, and really kind of communicate that riding is actually the easiest part falling off is the hardest part and so you want to stack the deck in your favor and especially in your kids favor to have that not happen to not get in an accident to not get into trouble to to not fall not get hurt and just going out to ride doesn't do that what are they all looking at <laughs> there's nothing there i don't want to scratch you lena you know, and another thing, when I teach kids, they all start with Lena. And I say, look, they're not all like Lena. You're not always going to have this, this, uh, this, this horse that's just going to come and, and get as close as she can to where you could be right behind her and you can do anything you want and, and, and hang out right here and it just won't matter. You could be, you know, you could be right on her. She won't kick. And, but they're not all like that. Can they be? Yes. I think that all horses can be like that. But the thing is, is they're all different. So starting from the ground up, making sure there's an understanding of variety, multi-horse training, single horse training is great, but there should be, 
you know, I'm kind of getting into a lot. If you want to get your kids started, 100%, do it as safe as possible. I have a child, I know as well. Um, you want them to be comfortable, safe, not fearless, but definitely not fearful. And uh, set them up for the absolute best success. Because I've heard way too many stories, and they are sad, crappy stories of how kids are falling off horses, they're getting hurt, and they never want to see them again. My first experience as a child with horses was one that was terrible. I hated them. I never ever looked at horses again after my experience of some camp where some horse just rode me right into this prickly, crabby tree and stood there and didn't do anything no matter what I did. Nobody was there to help, and that was it. I'd had it, never again, you know? Uh, and here I am, but that's besides the point. The thing is, um, as long as you can mitigate, try to prevent, try to set things up to be, uh, you know, as safe as you can. And that starts with the human. That starts with people understanding horses, knowing what they're going to do, preparing. Oh, look where they got up there, eh? I don't really know what they're looking at. There's nothing up there. Um, so that's my advice. Honestly, stack the deck in your favor for your child, even if you're an adult. This might be good advice for adults too. And that's how I start all adults here as well. Nobody comes here to ride at first. You don't ride. We start on the ground. We understand speed. We understand angles. We understand... <laughs> oh, she kicks him. Just give him a little kick in the shoulder. Oh, here comes Lena. And uh, and go from there. Find yourself comfortable. Find yourself making a bit of a relationship because groundwork is a lot about that. Groundwork and doing stuff with the horse creates a bit of a relationship where there's an understanding. Lena is a fantastic teacher for that. I wish I could do uh, a video lesson where I could show what Lena does for me and what she does for others. Uh, maybe I'd put, maybe I could put Haley in that. I don't know if she'll like that. But she is so smart that she will, she will get, I mean, she was free for a reason because she knows how to work people. And it's the relationship that a child or an adult will build with a horse that will define the riding, how it will go. And, uh, and I truly do think it's the safest way to, uh, to go about uh, learning about horses and with the end goal of riding horses. So that's my advice. A bit of a long monologue. I expect this only be about five minutes, but here we are. 13 minutes in. Any questions, let me know anytime. Um, I know it's a little bit more of an investment that some people are kind of willing to do. Uh, but uh, for the safety of the child, for the long-term you know, investment that you have in your kid's education and health and all that, you know, don't rush it. There's no rush. Riding's easy. Riding is super easy. I mean, relatively. Keep your balance and stuff. Once you get that stuff done on the ground, you get horse behaviors figured out, you understand how to make them go, stop, turn, change gates, all from the ground. Once you're in the saddle, it is just second nature. And you're just keeping your balance at that point. You're not concentrating on everything at once. Okay, I've monologued for long enough. Hopefully this has been interesting as we watch these five sort of mill around and do their thing. Look at them all lined up like ranch horses. What's happening here? Dude, you're not in the crowd. You need to get over to the right. Hurry up. Take your time, actually. Just go as slow as you can. Oh, well. So, there's my there's my crew. That's it. <laughs> He's so adorable. Isn't he? Look at this guy. Chick. Well, how do I get in? You don't. Okay, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.